I will showcase 22 handguns for mods that add weapons from previous Fallout games to Fallout 4, starting with Fallout 1 all the way through to Fallout New Vegas. Let's first briefly take a quick look at the pitiful selection of handguns that come with Fallout 4. There are 14 in total, and if we exclude the uniques from the list, we end up with 8 handguns. Now that we've seen what Bethesda is capable of creating, let's now take a look at what modders are capable of, and trust me, it'll only get better from here. Starting with Fallout 1, which has 8 handguns in total and we can bring back 7. First is the 10mm pistol or Colt 6520. The inspiration behind this weapon came from a 1990s comic book named Hard Boiled. This handgun is a magazine fed auto loading revolver, but in this mod it reloads just as a typical revolver would. This one comes with custom sounds custom animations, and another variant of the weapon called the Colt N80. It has been fully integrated into the level list via script. Next is the 6R 14mm pistol or 12.7mm pistol. This is a large semi-automatic handgun that we can bring back to Fallout 4 with Project Mojave. This gun is most similar to a real-life handgun named the Hammerly 280. In Fallout 1 and 2, the magazine well is placed in front of the trigger, but in Fallout New Vegas, the magazine is inserted through the grip. This handgun uses a new 12.7 ammo type added by the mod. It has custom one-handed animations, but uses vanilla sounds and can be bought from the gun runners at the Mojave Outpost. Next up is the Desert Eagle. 20th century films and video games gave this weapon its popularity despite it being an impractical handgun. The Desert Eagle is gas operated and chambers 50 caliber action express rounds which were added as a new ammo type by this mod. It also features custom sounds, custom animations, and three uniques out in the world for you to find. The gun will occasionally spawn on gunners as it has been added to their leveled lists, and the 50 caliber Action Express ammo can only be crafted at the chem lab. But if you don't want to use custom ammo, there's a mod on the Nexus that converts this gun to use vanilla 44 rounds. Next on the list is the 9mm Mauser or Mauser C96. In Fallout 1, this weapon can only be obtained from a man named Gizmo. Get your butt in here and sit down. We got some business to discuss. The main distinctive feature of this handgun is the integral box magazine in front of the trigger. For all you super mutants watching, that means the weapon reloads from the top, not the bottom. You stupid! Unfortunately, such a reload animation wasn't made for this mod, but War Daddy has made custom animations for the Mauser, which are a much better option than the default animations. The Mauser uses 10mm rounds by default, and there's a mod on the Nexus that implements 9mm receivers to the Mauser, which require Deadpool 2099's 9mm pistol mod for the 9mm ammo. Handgun number 5 is the 223 caliber or 556mm pistol, also known as the Blade Runner Blaster and that gun. The inspiration behind this revolver is obviously the first Blade Runner movie since the model is a complete ripoff. This weapon is the beautiful child of two real life weapons, the Styrman Letcher's receiver and the Bulldog revolver's hand grip. It uses 5.56mm rounds, custom one handed animations, vanilla sounds and can be bought from the gun runners. Next is one of my favorites, the Glock 86 plasma pistol. According to Fallout lore, this handgun was designed by Gaston Glock, the founder of the Glock Firearms Company after his mind was turned into an AI computer. But don't worry, in real life Gaston is alive and well at 92 years old. The Glock 86 shoots a small bolt of superheated plasma using fusion cells despite it being a plasma weapon. There's a mod that fixes that inconsistency by making the Glock use plasma cartridges instead. There are 4 uniques out in the Commonwealth to discover, and the 86 has been added to the level lists. The final handgun from Fallout 1 is the Alien Blaster. This is an energy weapon of extraterrestrial origin found at a UFO crash site on an alien corpse. This Alien Blaster, much like the Vanilla Blaster in Fallout 4, is unique and will be inside the cave near the UFO crash site in an expertly locked toolbox. After you find the handgun, you must repair it before you can use it. This Alien Blaster fires red laser bolts that disintegrate your foes using a new ammo type, Red Alien Blaster Rounds, that can only be obtained by crafting them at a workbench. Moving on to the list of handguns for Fallout 2, after we exclude the weapons that were already covered from Fallout 1, we are left with 5 weapons, none of which are available as mods for Fallout 4. Next in line is Fallout Tactics. It has 19 handguns in total, 15 after removing the ones we've added up to this point, and we can bring back 7. First off is the Flamer Pistol. 
Based on info from Tactics, this is a poorly designed weapon, a cut down version of the original Flamer. However, with the scarcity of fire weapons in Fallout 4, this Flamer pistol is a welcome addition. It will spawn on Gunners, Raiders, and Brotherhood Scribes. You'll also be able to purchase it from the Brotherhood Armory or the Diamond City Market. Next is the 6R P220. This is one of the sexiest handguns ever made and had the two companies, one German and one Swiss, not made love, we wouldn't be witnessing such a beautiful baby come to life in the Fallout universe. This weapon will spawn on enemies, containers and vendors and uses vanilla 45 caliber ammo. There are mods on the Nexus that will give this weapon custom sounds and animations. Come on out. Make it nice and quick. The 9mm Beretta M92 FS. This is a reliable semi-auto pistol commonly used by raiders in Fallout Tactics. In Fallout 4 it uses 10mm ammo, but a mod on the Nexus converts it to use Deadpool 2099's 9mm ammo from the Browning High Power mod. There are also mods that will give this weapon custom sounds and animations. This handgun will start spawning at level 8 on gunners and in vendors. And there are 5 uniques out in the Commonwealth to discover. Next is the 45 caliber auto pistol or M1911. For more than 10 decades, this handgun has been and still is the most recognized, most influential, and most used semi-automatic pistol in the world. The M1911 is the signature weapon of the Dead Horses tribe from Fallen New Vegas. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use is a new Canaanite rite of passage. It uses vanilla 45 caliber ammo and has custom animations and custom sounds. This mod adds the 45 caliber pistol to the leveled list and it'll start spawning after you hit level 5. Next up is the 9mm pistol or Browning High Power. This is a semi-automatic single action handgun based on the M1911 design. The main difference is that the Browning High Power uses 9mm rounds and therefore has almost twice the magazine capacity. The mod comes with new animations and sounds. It also adds a new 9mm ammo type to the game, places 4 uniques around in the commonwealth and injects the 9mm pistol into the level list starting from level 15. Next is the grenade pistol. This is originally a flared gun that was heavily modified and chambered to fire 40mm grenades, which are a new ammo type added by the mod. This grenade handgun will spawn on Minutemen, Gunners and Raiders around level 5 and can also be bought from vendors. There aren't any grenade launchers in Fallout 4 so this weapon is a welcome addition. The final handgun from Tactics is the Calico M950. This monstrous 9mm pistol has a helical feed system that allows it to carry absurd amounts of ammunition. Which is perfect because there's an abundance of 9mm ammo in the wasteland. In this mod, the Calico uses vanilla 38 caliber rounds, which are roughly 9mm rounds anyway. It has custom sounds, and uses laser pistol animations and is injected into the leveled list where it would make sense. There are a few issues with this mod but mainly that it comes with a bunch of other unwanted weapons. So now we move to Fallout 3. There are 10 handguns in Fallout 3 but after removing weapons already in Fallout 4 and the ones we've covered up to this point, we are left with 7 and can bring back 6. First up is the Smith & Wesson 32 caliber pistol, which we can bring back thanks to the Fallout 4 Capital Wasteland team. This revolver uses a new 32 caliber ammo type and custom one-handed and reload animations. Both the pistol and new ammo have been added to the leveled lists. Next up is the N99 10mm pistol. According to Fallout lore, the N99 was standard issue military gear following the phase out of the N80 pistol. This beloved design for the pistol might be some of Bethesda's best work. Nope, just kidding, this handgun was designed by a third party known as Liquid Development for Bethesda. Just like how modders pretty much do everything for Bethesda as well. The N99 uses the same animations as the 6R 12.7mm pistol and uses vanilla 10mm pistol sounds. The 13th weapon in this video is the dart gun. In Fallout 3, the only way to get your hands on this makeshift weapon is to find the schematics and craft it yourself. But here in this mod, the dart gun has been injected into the leveled lists and will spawn on raiders by level 5. This handgun uses a new syringe ammo type added by the mod. Two new junk items were added by the mod as well. The paint gun and the surgical tubing, which are needed if you were to craft a dart gun and both junk items were added to appropriate container loot. Next is another alien weapon, the alien atomizer. This is a Mothership Zeta DLC alien weapon that can only be obtained through playing the DLC in Fallout 3. And in Project Zeta, you can acquire the weapon in a similar fashion. After you hit level 20, you'll be granted a new quest, get abducted by aliens, get rescued by an alien, who will then hand you an alien atomizer. It uses vanilla alien blaster rounds and has a custom one-handed animation. We move to yet another alien handgun, the Fallout 3 alien blaster. 
Project Zeta adds this one too, somewhere around the spaceship on an alien's dead body. And now, you will have all three Fallout Alien Blaster iterations in Fallout 4. And so, we move to the Fallout 3 Plasma Pistol or the Enclave Plasma Pistol. Project Mojave adds this energy handgun to Fallout 4 and you can acquire it by purchasing it from the gunrunners at the Mojave Outpost. The plasma pistol has custom animations and uses fusion cells to spit out superheated plasma beams. And now we finally have a list of New Vegas' handguns and there are 20 in total, the most out of any Fallout game. 9 after removing the ones already available and we can bring back 4. Let's begin with the 357 Magnum Revolver aka Colt, Single Action Army, Peacemaker, Frontier 6 Shooter, M1873, also, Be as you can tell from all the different names this handgun is known as, it's gotten quite popular over the years. That is because this revolver has appeared in every single cowboy and western movie ever made. This weapon mod can be downloaded from the Fallout 4 New Vegas Discord. It has custom animations, uses vanilla 38 caliber ammo, and is fully injected into the levelless. The hunting revolver is up next. This handgun is based on the Magnum Research BFR. BFR of course stands for Big F***ing <clears throat> Revolver. And it deserves that title as this weapon uses 4570 caliber government ammo, which is a powerful ammo type typically used in rifles. This weapon mod comes with custom animations, custom sounds, leveled list integration and one unique from Fallout New Vegas. If you've got the Far Harbor DLC, make sure you get the non-vanilla version. Coming up is the Recharger Pistol. This is a self-charging energy weapon with infinite ammo. This energy handgun is an experimental design and wouldn't see much use in the wasteland as its fire rate is too slow and there aren't many instances of this weapon to come by. There are two files for this mod that implement this handgun to Fallout 4. One will replace the unique weapon Limitless Potential with the Recharger Gun and the other will add this weapon to the Institute and Brotherhood vendors only. And finally, the 22 caliber pistol. This is a handgun with an integrated silencer based on the Ruger Mark III. This silent weapon uses a new 22 long rifle ammo type added by the mod. It is also fully integrated into the leveled list. You'll find it on containers, enemies, and vendors. Oh no. 